it's not just an attack on our privacy, it's also an attack on democracy. So I don't know if you want to do the clap or you do. We all have this like literally in our pockets. There are cameras on the front and on the back, there's a microphone. So I think everybody realizes if someone creeps into there that they're really taking over your life. Pegasus uh, is a brand of spyware and it completely takes over your phone. So it has access to your messages, to your, it can activate your camera, your microphone, it has access to your images, to your documents, to your apps, everything. There are also other brands of spyware. It's not just an attack on our, our, our privacy, it's also an attack on, uh, on democracy because we need journalists who can investigate and, and expose you know, crime and wrongdoing. We need opposition politicians, we need critical NGOs, we need lawyers, we need people who can freely um, you know, scrutinize power, hold the power to account, control, it's democratic control. They can be blackmailed, they can be discredited, um, they can be harassed. There's a chilling effect. People are, are, you know, they're not so outspoken anymore. They're a bit worried about whom they meet, what kind of information they store on their devices. The abuse of spyware is definitely uh, a threat to the integrity of elections. And it's not just about politicians, because how can elections be fair if journalists are unable to, to scrutinize government and to report on you know, what the government has done well and what it has done wrong. The role of parliamentary watchdog is one of the very important tasks of the European Parliament. There's a handful of governments uh, abusing spyware. And here I think we have to conclude that in many cases uh, European laws have been violated uh, and the European Commission has not acted. So this is something where I think the European Parliament really has to put pressure on the European Commission. It should do its job.